This is brought to you by the Electronic Church of God, Arizona. Thank you. Welcome to October 16th, 2007, third day of the week, that we like to call a Tuesday. Well, now let's get over into the Lord's Care Ministry. The harvest is past. Solemn and sad is the wail of the soul. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 20. This is what you have to say concerning yourself, listener, as you look back over the past. You had your springtime of youth when it may have been by a mother's tender hand the good seed was sown in your heart and you were led to think of God in heaven. The summer of privileges and golden opportunities followed such as a thousand never knew. You were often near the kingdom of God. The gospel frequently came home to your heart. The striving of God's spirit often made you think of eternity. Death and disappointment told you there was no abiding happiness, no enduring portion here. Then came the harvest of grace, during which many of your equals, your neighbors, your companions, were safely gathered into the family of God, passed you by, leaving you ungathered, unconverted, and unsaved. You did not accept the great salvation. You did not believe the good tidings. You halted, procrastinated, and remained Christless. Where are you now? And what will your future, pardon me, and what will be your future destiny? Soon the day of grace will be over. Then comes the judgment. Listener, stop and solemnly ponder where you are to be in eternity. Do not trifle longer with your soul and with God. You have no lease on life, no certainty that you will see tomorrow's sun. Tomorrow you may be in the kingdom of God for eternity. Your place in society will be empty, but where will your soul be? There is a kingdom and a hell beyond the present world the kingdom of holiness and bliss for the saved, the abyss for punishment and woe for the lost. Your present state will fix your future destiny. Pause and consider there is yet time to be saved, none to spare. The time to cast yourself as a sinner upon Jesus Christ, the Savior is now. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call up him while he is near. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Fear God. Keep his commandments. A Philippian pilgrim. A workman for God. A friend of Christ. And brethren, if you haven't found Christ, if you not have not have been looking for him, get down on your knees and repent. Change your way. Change your path. And ask for forgiveness. And it shall be done. Well, with that, brethren, I think we're close for today. You all have a great day. I know I will. And God willing... We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. If you would like to donate to this ministry, please mail to COGA 13131 West Tucky Lane, Glendale, Arizona 85307. This would be very much appreciated in keeping this ministry going. Thank you. 
produced for you by Forrest Grote. Thank you.